Hi guys, it's me, Felicia of The Urban Taste again, joining you for another blind tasting. So this is something that I'm trying out. I want you guys to follow along with me on my journey. I am studying for my CSWs. This is my lesson plan book. I am studying to become a certified specialist of wine through the Society of Wine Educators. And one of the things that I decided to do to take my study in kind of to the next level is I wanted to start developing my palate. And how you do that is by blind tasting. Um, so technically this isn't like a real blind tasting. Um, I'm kind of preparing myself for that. So a blind tasting pretty much is someone pours a bottle of wine in a glass. You don't know what it is. You taste it. And based on its characteristics, the taste, what it smells like, you're supposed to be able to determine what type of wine that is, um, you know, where it comes from, its aroma, what's in it, etc. And so before you can get to that point, you have to pretty much drink a whole lot of wine um, and develop your palate, train your palate to be able to recognize and pick up on the notes and the flavors and the, the just different characteristics of a wine. So that's what I am doing. I'll be tasting wines that obviously I know what they are and I'll be taking lots of notes um, on them and kind of developing my own little tasting profile book where hopefully, you know, a month from now, I'll be able to say, okay, I know for sure that that's a Chardonnay or that that's a Pinot Noir. And then hopefully three or six months from now, I'll be able to say, okay, that's a Pinot Noir from Oregon or that's a Pinot Noir from California, um, you know, etc. And then like the more you do it, like the better you get at it where you're able to like taste smell and be able to say it's from this region it's this type of grape the vintage is this it was made in you know or aged in oak versus stainless steel boom 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 like to the t um i'm hoping to get there one day but in the meantime this is what i'm doing for now so um if you guys want to follow along great um if not hopefully this video will be helpful and um, you'll be able to maybe duplicate or replicate the idea amongst your friends or your family. It's a really cool kind of bonding experience um, to be able to play this amongst your friends. So um, follow along. I'm sorry for all the ums. This is like my first time doing my filming on my own. So just bear with me. So today we're going to be tasting a Californian Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from the, from the Kimmel Vineyard. I'll show you the label here. Kimmel, Four Blocks Collection, 2011. I'm sorry if that's a little blurry. Um, so this is what we're gonna be doing um, tonight. And so you really only need, I'm gonna be pouring maybe about two to three ounces most um, wine tastings they give you about two ounces one to two ounces but I tend to do three when I'm like blind tasting like this because you have to kind of taste it a couple of times um, to really be able to you know get a feel for it so um, some of the things that I'm gonna be uh, showing or using tonight are going to be what I call wine wheels and these are like little guides like I'll show you this is the industry standard one and this is like a, a cooler one that I kind of picked up today um, that like you can like change it and it spins or whatnot. It's really cool, kind of fun. But these are going to be guides that are going to kind of help me determine um, what else is in this wine. So I'm going to, you know, go through my own um, kind of process, the four S's, which is sight. You want to look at it, you want to swirl it, you want to smell it, and then you want to sip it. And so I'm going to go through that and I'm going to trust my own nose, trust my own palate, jot some notes down. And then if I feel like there's something more there that I haven't written down, I'm going to refer to those um, wine wheels to kind of help me out. So uh, follow me and I hope you guys enjoy.
this is going to be a very dry wine. All I'm picking up is dry, dryness, I guess, I'm sorry, oak, it's very woody. Maybe some leather. And this is this is gonna be a full body, just really rich, deep, complex wine. This is gonna be one of the big boys. Here we go. Moment of truth. Wow. I was fooled. At least my opinion. I didn't think it was um very full body like it's definitely complex and it's a very strong deep wine but for me um when i think full body i think of a wine that coats your mouth and kind of lingers and i didn't think that this did that this was um maybe light to medium uh body not too tannic um not as bitter. It has pepper in it. I, I definitely taste the pepper. Um, this is more like a black pepper, maybe. Not a, a green pepper. Definitely black pepper. Um, very, very interested. Um, this is different. It's, it's a different type of cab. Like, I'm actually surprised. Another tip, when you're tasting wine, after you sip it, you want to let it kind of linger um, and coat your mouth for about, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. Some people say like 30 seconds, but I find it hard to sit and hold good wine, even if it's bad wine. 30 seconds, wine in your mouth, it doesn't last that long for me. I'll maybe give you 10, and after that, I have to taste this goodness. Um... Or for some people, they prefer to sip and spit. I'm not a fan of that uh, motto just yet. So I sip and swallow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to write down what I think of this. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to look at the wine wheel and see what the wine wheel tells us. I'll be back. Let's look at what our industry standard wine wheel um, will tell us. I didn't get any hints of the fruit and most cabs have, you know, you taste maybe some type of fruit and I'm not getting, you know, not even a berry or anything. This, this is, I feel like this reminds me of more of a French style um, wine and I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of French wines, but I have yet to find a French wine that I enjoy and I haven't had enough of them to make a determination. Um, but I'm running out of uh, video here. I think I've got like 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish this out on my own. And um, I will see you guys next time. So don't forget to check us out on all our social media sites. Um, that information will be following this video. But just look us up. The Urban Taste on Facebook. The underscore Urban Taste on Twitter. 
Um, we're on Instagram, we're on Pinterest, and don't forget to follow the blog, uh, Adventures of the First Lady of Wine with me, Felicia P., at theurbantaste.tumblr.com. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to reach out to me, definitely shoot me an email, urbantaste at premierelms.com. That's at P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E-E-L-M-S.com. Or hit us up at 786-405-WINE. Bye.